besoin d'abord. Hey guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is a Crossman C11 Tactical. Now this is a semi-automatic pistol, really nice little handgun, great, um, I don't know, I, I can't say much more than it's an awesome little pistol. Now what you get when you purchase is the gun itself, you get it this rail setup for uh, different rail mounts and stuff where you can tactically sort of, you know, mount all kinds of little things, lights, whatever, lasers. Uh, it does come with a laser also, which is really cool, and then has a 20 round magazine and then that fake suppressor which is really cool looking. Now this thing is pretty sweet. I just like the looks of it. Cosmetically it is beautiful. Uh, you can see the side picture here. You have a nice little side picture. You can see the front post pretty good with this mount on. Now this mount was one of the things I had a little bit of trouble with. What happens is this mount doesn't have any screws in it to screw it down onto the gun or tighten it around the gun. It basically just pops on the rail on the bottom of the pistol and that's all it holds on to. Now what I did was I epoxied mine on and that means that it's permanently on. I'm not going to be able to take it off but it allows me to go ahead and, and add a red dot and the uh, lights or whatever and not worry about it falling off the gun before uh, when it's not epoxied on, it wiggles and wobbles, and it, it's not that great. But once it's epoxied onto the weapon, it works perfect. Uh, you can actually even go ahead. There's some screws here on the side and tighten those down really good, and they'll dig into the gun a little bit. Not quite a lot, but just enough, you know, to hold it stable. Um, the fake suppressor on the front is a fake suppressor. It does have holes in it, so it's not going to, you know, do any silencing. But it is pretty cool looking, and it doesn't screw. Now, once you unscrew it, which is really cool, uh, you're going to see the barrel here. Now, the barrel has a lot of length to it. It's going to give you extra power because it's making the BB travel a longer distance under pressure. So it's going to give you more power and more accuracy with that extra length. Really a nice gun, and i got to say it's very powerful. I was really surprised about the power on the pistol. Now, I did have some issues when I first loaded the gun because I didn't read the manual. <laughs> Um, being an air gun, you know, you don't want to read the manual. It's just a guy thing. You know how to operate things. And having regular handguns, I know how to use a gun. Um, so I went ahead, loaded the BBs up, slammed it up in there, and I had a jam. And what happened was I um, pulled this spring down, and then the spring usually locks in the bottom position. And I'll show how you show you right now. Uh, you can see it locked in there, and there's a little, you know, tab out. I filled it with BBs, and then I went ahead and shoved it into the gun. And then that spring, once I shoved it in there, that spring popped loose and flew forward before I shoved it completely up into the pistol. Now what happens is the BBs on the top, it tells you on the instructions to put your finger over the top so that no BBs pop out and then to release the pressure onto the, you know, the spring, onto the BBs. Well, I didn't do that, and it was inside there. BBs popped out and jammed my magazine into my gun, and I had it sticking about that far out, and I couldn't get it the rest of the way. I yanked on it, finally got it out. It was a pain in the butt. It took about an hour, scarred up the magazine a little bit like that, and I was good to go. Once I figured out that that was the issue, um, I actually loaded the BBs, did it the right way, held the top, let the spring loose. Once the BBs were all set and good to go, loaded it correctly into the magazine, popped it home, and it worked fine. No issues, no ands, no nothing. Um, the only thing that I noted, though, was that you don't want to be taking out the magazine a lot, you know, and checking it for me. I always do that with my handguns, and I do it with my other BB gun as well, where I'll eject the magazine while shooting, you know, when I have a little bit of time, uh, when I'm in between, you know, setting up stuff or whatever, I, I check the magazine, check how many rounds I have in the gun, and then go ahead and pop it back. Well, if you do that and um, a BB gets loose, you're going to have another jam. So with this gun, I go ahead and leave it inside the gun and then just wait until it's empty, then I eject it. Um, other than those little things, that's about it. The other little problem that I had was just one little tiny thing and that is this little tab right here. Now, on some of the other guns that I have, it's easy to tighten it down, the uh, CO2 cartridge and stuff. On this gun, I put the CO2 cartridge in and I tightened it, you know, until it was snug, and then I was gonna go ahead and pop it, you know, when you break the, the pop and the, break the seal on it. 
I went to tighten it and my finger kept hitting the uh, magazine well, like this little piece of plastic down here, hitting it and uh, it would cause me to stop a few seconds and then twist it again. While, while that was happening, more air was bleeding out of the CO2. So what I've had to do is pinch it sort of between the two fingers and really gently twist it tight. Once it twists tight, it's good to go and it, it doesn't have any issues. Um, but you know, that little design flaw right there for me, and it is, I think, a little bit of a flaw. Um, they could have made the tab a little bit bigger, maybe, or, you know, extended this part out a little bit more, but that little bump right there is just a pain in the butt, so you got to watch that. Um, other than that, the, everything else operates really nicely on the gun. I did like how the uh, safety was located right above the trigger. You know, when I usually shoot, um, this is where my finger sits anyways on the gun and it's easy to operate the safety and turn it on or turn it off. Once the safety is on um, and you can't fire it, it disengages the trigger so you can squeeze the trigger you know as much and as want you want but it's not going to fire. Um, overall this is a really nice pistol very accurate very strong too for a BB gun. I was really surprised at the power that it had and the velocity of uh, velocities that were putting out BBs. I do have a target and this is the target that I was using. This is one of those lids to a tetracella candle and it devastated it. You can see the, the hits on it. I mean this was you know um, just a couple magazines and it just devastated the heck out of this piece of metal. So if it can do that to a can you know it's definitely going to do a lot more to uh, any little pests you have. This would be great for anybody who maybe has a garden or does some prepping they don't want to use their handgun or they live in an urban environment you know um, take this out in the backyard you have your garden and stuff you got pests going in your garden uh, or whatever this would be uh, a great little handgun for that because you put a little red dot on here and you got you know that second shot capability with 20 rounds you can definitely pop out um, whatever I had a friend who had some avocado trees and they used to have rats get into their uh, avocado trees and this would be a great addition to their little arsenal of uh, air guns to definitely you know take out some of those rats before they get their avocados but um a great pistol very accurate very powerful you get the laser too the laser is uh, definitely a really neat little setup um, you put the batteries here on the bottom it just holds the batteries right there and seals up the only issue that I had with the laser is that the switch in the back doesn't have a, a definite click you know it's not real hard to turn off and on and when I was setting it down when I had it installed on the gun I'd set it down on the bed or something and I'd accidentally turn on the laser and I'd catch it a few minutes later but um, that's why I take it off it is adjustable and it will hold it zero worked really well uh, it's not real visible in the daylight but in the evening and low light situations it's awesome and outstanding definitely works really well in conjunction with the pistol so you guys have a good one be safe take care I know that they do make extra magazines for the gun you can pick those up I think they run about 16 bucks but I'm not sure the gun itself is uh, under 50 bucks uh, just under 50 bucks and um, CO2s it doesn't come with any CO2s so you can definitely pick those up too but uh, a great pistol and hours and hours of enjoyment I wouldn't use anything else but something like this to uh, to definitely you know have a little pest problem or if you're going to teach your kids how to shoot or family members how to shoot it's really a great little thing to learn first on an air gun um, it is definitely harder to shoot a pistol than it is a rifle but with an air gun they can learn you know muscle memory uh, how to hold a gun properly and definitely how to uh, operate a pistol the rules and you know um, everything else about a handgun or any gun at least and uh, not have to spend so much time with uh, you know smaller caliber weapons an air gun is really great you can even do it indoors if you want it but uh, a really nice little pistol you guys have a good one be safe take care and we'll definitely talk to you soon if you haven't subscribed please subscribe you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you soon